I mean, again, he, he doesn't know who Gabriel is, right? Because he didn't come from an Abrahamic faith. The people of Mecca were pagan. The Quran has mentioned if this book was from other than God, they would have found in it many contradictions. If a book is without contradictions, that has no bearing on whether it comes from God or not. I've had phone books that are inerrant, but I certainly don't think God gave them. <laughs> that we believe without understanding. The brothers asked a very important question that most of the scholars say that listening to music, watching movies, and most of the television programs, they're haram. So how can we have fun? Let me tell you, brother, at the outset, that having fun is permitted in Islam as long as the fun is halal fun. <laughs> that the standard narrative has holes. The prophet tells us because Satan or the devil sleeps over our nostrils. Those who oversleep and not pray Fajr on time, Satan urinates in their ears. I really do think Jesus was crucified <laughs> and that he really was dead and buried. He, he thought that he was a son of God in the sense that he was specially chosen by God. I think Jesus really did think he was going to be the Messiah, the future king of Israel. I mean, that is after all why they crucified him. <laughs>
This is the prophet and this is the message and this is the God. So the God, he sent his angel from the seven heaven 11 to tell you that shaitan, he pee in your ears, brother. That's the, the prophet That's tells us because Satan or the devil sleeps over our nostrils. Those exactly true. This is true. You know, yesterday I opened my eyes suddenly because sometimes I do that, like, you know, because the battery, like sometimes overcharge. So I open my eye and then I find two shoes coming from my nose. I mean, how in the world that going to be true? And why in the world nobody want to believe Muhammad is a prophet? What's wrong with you people? It's a proven scientifically, you know, you know, to be true that shaitan, this is knowledge of God. And this is what makes religion true religion. Shaitan, he sleep in your nose. You see those Christians, they are jealous because they don't have such a discovery, you know? I feel it's a bit sorry for them, you know, those Christians that like, you know, they have, you know, they have Jesus, he, he, he walk in the water, like, what the heck? So what? So what? You know, like, come on. Here we go. This is a, this is a miracle. Prophet, he discovered the unseen, the invisible. Shaitan sleep in your nose. The brother, <laughs> if there is more discovery, tell us, brother over our nostrils. Those who oversleep and not pray Fajr on time, Satan urinates in their ears. Exactly, brother. If you, any of you right now put a piece of cotton in your ear, is what you will get, the piss of shaitan. Take it to the laboratory, okay? The, if the laboratory run by Christians, they lie to you. They say, this is you, this is wax, this is, you know, this is nothing, don't worry about it. This is your body making wax to, to keep the dirt away from going inside. Don't lie, don't listen to them. This is Satan. Satan, he piss in your ears. And you know, Islam without lies, not never dies. You know, come on. You know. <laughs> we Muslim, we don't lie. Our prophet don't lie. <laughs> Satan, he piss in your ears. That's deep. Where is the guy, his name, uh, 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 Palestine and Yemeni captain, they were fighting in the chat and both of them, they want to prove to you that Islam is from God. If we open our Skype right now, how many lies a Muslim here have to say before he fly? Let me open my Skype. Just give me a second. All right. Uh, here we go. We open Skype. Let us give them opportunity. For the science fiction people, you know, the Muslim, by the way, we are people of science. Yesterday, I saw in the newspaper, Muslim newspaper, it says, uh, online, sure, sure, you know, it says, uh, a Muslim from Yemen, he designed a five billion airplane work by nuclear. Uh, what the heck? I said, this is really good. A Muslim, he do that. And then I found that the one who did the video animation, it was a Yemeni. It was not the one, but there's no airplane that actually even still exists. It was animation of a video. They made the guy, he is the scientist, he is the one who made the airplane, he is the one, I mean, he, 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 welcome. Habibi, Aman Rabbi, Aman. Turkey is making Roman. So, uh, our Skype is open. If there is any Muslim here, Muhammadan, uh, would like to practice his religion, you know, just keep your camera off. Nobody will notice how big your nose is growing. Just keep the mag. Don't do the same as this guy Safaris. He called me and he hit the bomb and his camera is on. I tell him the camera is off. He hit it, make it on. I say to him, it is on. He hit it. He make it on again. Unbelievable. So if we ask any Muslim now, and my Skype is open, you are welcome to text me. In case you like to join us, I am a Muslim. Your answer? Why you don't uh, call me? Give me a video. Your answer? <laughs> oh boy! Uh, let us see. Maybe maybe this guy is up uh, to the top. Let us call. Let us uh, lower this uh, Skype thing. Yes. Uh, how are you doing? You said to me you are a Muslim and I am a liar. A liar? Yes. Am I live? 
Yes, we are, li- we are live. Oh, hello, everyone. Um, I w- you are a liar. Why? Tell me. Okay, tell me why. No, no, no. Did I say you are a liar? When? Tell me because I'm not uh, watching it. Well, in the in the text you sent me, it says you are a liar. Oh, oh you know what? Uh, yeah, okay, hold on, hold on. Six months ago, I think. Uh, uh, no, this is not you. Sorry, I called the wrong uh, <laughs> wrong person. You know, nope. I have tons of uh, Muslims texting me. It says here I'm a Muslim, you know. Mm-hmm. Yeah, but the liar is not coming from you. This is the, like this is a pop-up window coming from different person. So you, <laughs> you so you still a Muslim or you left? Uh, something in between. Oh, okay. So I, I'm wrong. Sorry, I, I thought I got a fish. <laughs> anyway, no, no. so uh, something between. So you did not leave Islam yet. I don't know. Uh, it's just like it started with doubting and stuff, but not officially. But I'm not really like muslim but i was just born muslim you know and i was praying and stuff but then uh, i started to to ask questions and stuff and by the way i uh, i'm a big fan of your show i uh, i still watch and watch the show right yes so why, you, why what is holding you from leaving yet well even if i leave islam so no religion makes sense to me so I'm not well, going to convert. It's, uh, let us say there is no religion makes sense to you, but it's still you will not stay in the religion make no sense. Mm. <laughs> if the reason yes. not to join other religion, it doesn't make sense to you. This is not. This should be the same reason you leave Islam then. Yeah, but even if I leave Islam, you you get me. Even even if I leave Islam, so um, I'm not going to convert to Christianity. Or so Christianity, it makes. Don't worry uh, about us. We are very big in number, and you joining us. This is not uh, will will not hurt us or will not add anything. But I'm, I'm saying, but, as long as you. But I still believe in God. You know, I believe in God, but uh, I think we. What is the like quali- a qualification of the God you believe in? As long so, I can say you left Islam already. Okay, maybe. Okay, um, so what is the qualification for the God you are looking for? Uh, the qualification? Well, no, I'm not. I'm. I just believe in God. There is a, a being, you know. Uh, but you say creatures. religion. All religion doesn't make sense. I mean, religion is yeah, based on believing in God. Parts. You know, God is something else. Religion is like a way to God. It meant to be. You know, and there oh, are okay. of religions, of wrong religions. You know, yeah. Or people who believe that they find the truth, but uh, they really didn't find nothing. Or but you see, believe. now you have your own religion. Then, because if you are against religion, you uh, you are against. To know. Everybody should believe what they want. But in Islam, I'm a little bit against because they. They, um, but not even just Islam, they are also like fundamentalist Christians, also like where, uh, for example, where uh, uh, when they, as long as they believe something, that's okay. I mean, you can believe in anything you want. It's okay. If it's good for you, that's fine. But uh, if you're trying to make it a law from it, you know, a law, not a law, (laughs) a law, you know, uh, from it and uh, like tell the people how the people how they should live how they should be and beat the people or kill the people then it's a big big problem then i have a problem mm. which actually actually islam has uh, has a uh, big problems on it you know okay well my friend i'm happy for you that you decided to leave islam and sorry for the call by mistake it was a friendly <laughs> fire <laughs> no pro- <laughs> all right take care no problem yeah. take care peace, peace. Mm. all right where is the guy who said to me you are a liar I'm trying to find his, uh... you get excited. I said, okay, we got somebody is accusing me to be a liar. That's a, that's a good thing. Because when you accuse me to be a liar, you have to prove it and then you will fail. All right, I didn't see any text from any Muslim. <clears throat> uh... Okay. Yeah, we have, uh, okay, we have here, uh, we have the, our friend who, uh, who called us two days ago. And by the way, the video will be back online. I was just cutting the, because the video was so long and not much of it. So he was sending me uh, uh, a link for a, a video. Uh, my friend, I don't open links, you know, if you send me. Uh, just uh, t- tell me the name of the video and I will uh, I will search it and we will laugh. Uh, 
but I know I see I see in uh, in in the video a satellite. Uh, that's one of the things the Muslims they deceive you know each other. Uh, Muhammad he used the word atbaq and suddenly the Muslims they start saying atbaq mean satellite. Atbaq is the strangers, strangers. So because the Arab are people of a tribe. So Muhammad he's saying that time will come and his people they will uh, they will be close to the foreigners and not close to each other which means they will be friendly to the foreigners and they will lose their faith and they will be uh, you know not good to each other as a tribe or as a as a nation so al atbaq here is about being uh, uh, you know having a relationship with non muslims not about satellite Everything they say is is that this just a joke. Uh, but let me, if I open the hadith, let me find the hadith. <clears throat> All right, I think we found it, or we we'll find one of it. I have it now in in English. In Arabic, sorry. Let us find it in English. You will see that Muhammad is saying nothing really about, he speak about the sign of Judgment Day, but those are normal things happen every day, and it happened in his time. And some of them even he is trying to copy what Jesus said. Uh, let me see if I can find, I did not find the exact one in English. Let us see. Well, let us uh, do for a different search. Maybe we can find it easier. Always when somebody says something to you, uh, just to check it out, and you will see how silly, how stupid it is. And check the whole statement, not only part of it. Let us see here. Let us see this hadith here if we can find in English. The reason I want to find it in English because that will make it easier for you to understand what I'm saying. As simple as that. Yeah, as an example, I just I found this one. You know, when you read, you will die laughing. And look at this. Uh, from from uh, 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 from the signs of the judgment day, that, that nobody knows the, the what is inside the womb of the women except Allah. But long time ago, we know already what's inside the, the, the womb. Uh, it says here, 
the hour one of the five things of the unseen no one knows except Allah the Holy Prophet he says okay nobody knows what is the unseen what is that he says uh, Allah he know uh, Allah only he knew that the, the, the day of judgment Allah only the one who sent rain actually now they are you know they they create rains you know they cause rain to fall down they shoot missiles and they cause rain uh, uh, Allah only is the one who knows what is inside the womb and where you will die this is very silly because simply you know you can even decide yourself where to die you know you can just kill yourself whatever you want you can say, I want to die in Washington, D.C. Go there, give myself. Uh, uh, and then he says, uh, yeah, I mean, those are things he mentioned. But let us, let us see more stupid things, proving that Muhammad is a false prophet. Uh, let us see other hadith. Okay, Muhammad, he says, there is a three uh, eclipse will happen between now and the, and the time of Judgment Day. But eclipse happen every year many times. Read and laugh, let us see. Let us hope we can find it in English. This is the signs of the judgment day. Allah Messenger uh, came to us and all of a sudden as we were busy. And this is Sahih Muslim, so this is Sahih Hadith. And you know, he was discussing the, about the last hour. Thereupon he said, it will not come until you see 10 signs before. And then he says, he made uh, and by the way, uh, here there's a because the Muhammad is as usual is a stupid. He said ten, and then he mentioned nine. Sometimes he say nine, but he mentioned seven. You know, <laughs> just just to show you how 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 the foolish man is. Uh, so he said he made uh, 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 he mentioned the smoke, the the ja, the beast, the rising of the sun from the west, the descent of Jesus, the son of Mary. Gog and Magog, and the landslide in three places. It's a landslide, sorry, not, not, uh, uh, he, he meant uh, uh, landslide. One in the east, and one in the east, and one in Arabia. Uh, the end of which fire would be born forth from the Yemen. Take a note, from Yemen. And which would drive the people from the place as uh, their assembly. You know, uh, uh, Yemen is a volcano place. We have volcanoes everywhere. We have a, a, a landslide everywhere. We have landslide in the east. You can just search right now. Landslide in Indonesia. Landslide in uh, 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 even in Yemen, even in Saudi Arabia, even whatever country you want. But here you notice something very, very uh, important. Uh, Muhammad he says that the smoke and a Dajjal, and then the beast, and then the sun. So Muhammad, he put them in order. But isn't it Muhammad, he said, that a man, he came to him and he went to an island and he found that the Dajjal is in a chain? That means that the Dajjal appeared in his time. If I go right now to the hadith and search for this, we will find the following. Muhammad, he claimed that a jassasa, sorry, and the, the beast is going to come from the sign of the judgment day. And this is the beast. 
in the front of us and this is the this is uh, 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 the guy who is supposed to uh, the jail uh, a, a group of um, uh, people who went to the island in the middle of the Mediterranean and they saw a woman and this woman supposed to is a Jassasa and uh, she point her finger she sent him to a castle and they found a guy he is enchained and he is flying in the air inside the cave inside the castle and he is at the jail so Muhammad claiming that the jail will appear as a sign of a judgment day but Muhammad he said and he mentioned and he believed and he told them a story he heard from somebody imagine how false he is a guy he came to him and not only that the Dajjal he asked him about Muhammad he said did he came did he came Muhammad is he uh, like his followers believe in him is it they are obeying him so here the story in front of you you can read it the chapter of Al-Jassasa Sahih Muslim and the hadith is very long and it's very funny and the Dajjal is already was born and is exist in the time of Muhammad so how Muhammad he claim if we go to the other hadith about Ad Dajjal, that is going to be a sign from the judgment day when Ad Dajjal was exist in his time and the beasts exist in his time. And then, if you, uh, 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 if you ask yourself uh, about uh, things Muhammad is mentioning, Jesus he mentioned that the light of the sun will disappear, you know, the, the a volcano like an earthquake will happen, etc. I mean, all those mentioned in the old, before, you know, before Muhammad, long before Muhammad. Illness, diseases, disasters, people they cheat each other, people they lie to each other, people, you know, what, what the Bible is saying, that the more we are, uh, let us say, evil, the faster judgment day happen. Faster by us, by our action, which means we bring destruction upon us based on how fast we corrupt ourselves. The same as what happened in Sodom and Gomorrah. If there is only 10 righteous people in the city, God will not destroy it. So when judgment day will happen, according to the Bible, is when there is the earth is really doomed. The earth is really doomed. So the majority of each city are really very, very evil. And there's very little few people who they are decent. And then the Lord will come. So. If we if we if we check each one of them, you know, uh, to see if this is true or not, we will find the order is wrong. Uh, the reference is even wrong. Muhammad he can't even repeat the same thing uh, twice. As an example, uh, remember this hadith here. I will go and I will type the last hour in the search engine. You will see the last hour, the order of those things change because Muhammad, he don't remember what he just said before. Let us see. Hmm. Look at this one. Muhammad, he added a new one. Judgment day will not come until you fight the people who they are. He is making fun of the Asian people who their faces like that. And they wear uh, shoes made of uh, hair. Muhammad here was talking about the Turkish. Muhammad, he preached and he teach that the Turkish are the people of Gog and Magog, or some of them. Let us say, I mean, the Turkish, all of them, they are from Gog and Magog, but a group of Gog and Magog, this is more accurate. So Muhammad, he said, Avoid fighting the Turk as long they did not fight you. So Muhammad, he believed that the Turkish are the enemies of Islam, and they will never be Muslims, and they are not even human. They are from the people of Gog and Magog. Let us see the hadith so we can see what it says here. Uh, okay, let's see, Turk.
And then we find that the Turkish is the one who occupied Constantinia, where Muhammad was making a prophecy that the Arab is the one who is going to, uh, is going to, the, the, the Arab in front of him, the people, the Muslim in front of him, he, he claimed that they are the one who will occupy our city, Constantinia, which is going, we are going to have it sooner or later. So Muhammad, he said, let us see. Which means Muhammad, remember here, Muhammad is saying, stay away from the Turkish. Stay away from the Turkish. Let the Turkish alone, as long they leave you alone. Why Muhammad was saying that? Because he learned that the Turkish are very savage compared to the Arab. And the Arab, they are no match to fight with the Turkish. Especially at that time, it's about who is more savage. We know what the Mongolian, what they can, what they were able to accomplish by war because they are savage. They drink blood. They don't take a shower. The Arabian women is their, is their fun. Criminals. So Muhammad, he knew exactly this is the enemy. I cannot fight. And if it happened, it, only if they attack us, I will never let my people attack them because that will be their end. And actually, this is what happened. The Turkish... The Magnolian, Mongolian, they came, Jankiz Khan, occupy all Islamic countries. He raped most of Muslim women. And he subdued them. And then one of his, you know, they don't have religion. One of his assistants advised him, why you don't, uh, you know, I mean, convert to Islam, they will never oppose you. They will make you caliphate. They will worship you. You know, he said, okay, I'm a Muslim. <laughs> Nothing changed. Turkey today is the same as Turkey before. So Muhammad, he, he never thought that the Turkish, they are going to be believers. Uh, and uh, Muhammad is the one, he even believed that the Ethiopian are the people of the devil. And this is the different hadith, claiming that there is a treasure in the Kaaba. And nobody will be able to take it from the Kaaba because the Ethiopian, they are the one who will destroy the Kaaba. And one of them, he, he called him Zus He's making fun of the black people, how they look like, you know. People of Ethiopia, if you do not know, they are like skinny. And this is why he is making fun of them as a black people who they are very skinny, their legs. So he is saying uh, uh, the, the people of uh, uh, Ethiopia, uh, leave them alone, because those are the ones who will destroy the Kaaba. Now, if we ask a Muslim, do you really think that the Ethiopian, they can destroy the Kaaba? I mean, what is the power of the Ethiopian? What is their power? The prime minister of Ethiopia right now is a Muslim. <laughs> you know? Yeah. Uh, <clears throat> Let me see if I can find this hadith just to show you how Muhammad is a fool. He do not know what, what he's talking about. Even there's a chapters about not to, I can find it here. Let us see. Um, let us see here one. We'll see this one maybe. This is the same hadith we mentioned a little bit ago, but uh, I want to see the chapter name. Uh, the chapter name. There's a chapter in the book of Abi Dawood. It says the, the name of the chapter, not to excite or not to inflame the Turkish to attack us, which means don't do anything to make them go upset from you. Never. This is how terrified he is from them. Yeah. So the judgment day will not happen until those things happen. I mean, who in the world want to believe in this? Now we are in the time of missiles and etc. And this guy is talking about people wearing shoes from here and they have swords. Actually, if you go into the story of a Dajjal, a Dajjal, he will attack the Kaaba. He will attack Mecca and Medina. Uh, what is the weapon of a Dajjal? Arrows made of wood.
Let us see. <clears throat> here, a Dajjal is going to attack, as we see here, the see the, the hadith. Okay, let's see this one. And then we will see their weapon. There is no city, no town, no country in the world, except that the Jal will control it. So this person will occupy all the earth, the whole earth, except Mecca and Al-Madina. Why? Because the angels are God in it. All right? As you see, all of this is a hadith, is a, is a, is a sahih. Very authentic, Al-Bukhari, Muslim. And then we will find... I'm just trying to find the hadith, give me a second. Uh, let us see here, I don't know if I see it. Uh... Let us see. So the Jal is going to use arrows to fight. Uh, I think I found this one. Let us see here. Okay. Uh, let us see. No, not this one. I'm just trying to find the one who he will use arrows to attack Mecca and Medina. And then the Muslims, they will collect the arrows and they will use them for cooking for seven years. <laughs> for seven years. I mean, we are in the time now, there's people will attack you with arrows made from wood. That would be fun. <laughs> Let us see. Uh, and remember, this is mean that when a, this guy at the jail come, he is going to come in a time people are still using arrows. So regard, regards what the time is, that time passed long time ago. Who use arrows these days in war? Uh, I'm trying to find the hadith here. It's important to find it because Muslim they might say, oh, he is saying things. Where is the proof? Here we go. He said he did not. He mentioned it did not. Uh, let us see. Uh, let us uh, change the search. I don't remember exactly the, the, the I mean, the word by word to find it. Uh, but we showed this hadith before many times. In case you don't remember in many videos before. Uh, let us see. Oh, actually, here we go. Uh, one of the admins posting the hadith. Thank you. You saved my time. All right, here we go. So this is the hadith in the front of us. Let us put it on the screen. Yeah, this is not the one I'm looking for. Uh, no, I want the one they use the arrow. The one they use the arrow. Not the one just uh, go and not go. Okay. I thought you have it. All right, let us see. Uh,
it is C. Because if I don't find it now, I have to find it later and post it under the uh, uh, under the video. Let us see here. Uh, I will try. Uh, I found a hadith, but I don't know if I can find this one in English. Let us try it. There we go. We found one in English, finally. It says here, you have heard about the city, you know, and uh, one uh, side of which is one land and the other is a sea. <laughs> they said, Allah Messenger, yes, thereupon he says, the last hour would not come unless 70,000 person from Bani Ishaq, 70,000 people from Bani Ishaq. Bani Ishaq is from the children of Israel, would attack it. When they would land there, they will neither fight with weapon nor uh, shower arrows, uh, uh, but would say, there is no God but Allah. <laughs> This is not the one I'm looking for, but you know, just to show you the stupidity. So according to Muhammad, the Jewish, the Jewish people, they will fight. And this fight, they will use arrows and those arrows is used by 70,000 people. They will attack a city, which is one side of it is in the sea and one side of it in the land. And you just, you guess where is that one? I mean, what, what the heck is that? And they will use arrows, but they will never use the arrow unless they say half of the Shahada. They don't say the whole Shahada. There's no God but Allah, and they say Allah Akbar. Muslims, is it true that the Jewish, they will use their arrows? Now, don't tell me this is missiles and this is things and, you know, well, 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 come on. It says arrows. Their arrows. Arrows of the wood. And you will see here, they scream and say, there's no God but Allah. And, uh, and then uh, they will say, Allahu Akbar. And then they will go inside the city and etc. Uh, and then they will hear that the Dajjal is already out. So they will leave. <laughs> so again, the Dajjal have to come when people are still using arrows. As you see, they enter the city after they shoot their arrows. They occupy the city and they are Jewish, but they are Jewish Muslims. Those are Muslim Jewish. They don't follow Muhammad. But here you ask yourself why they are saying there is no God but Allah, but did not mention Muhammad. Is it possible to be a Muslim without mentioning Muhammad the Shahada? You have to say the name of Muhammad. Here Muhammad, before he created the Shahada, which was there is no God but Allah, and he inserted his name next to it because he want to worship himself. So again, Muhammad is making a fabrication. Let us find more hadith. All is about a Dajjal, you know, and you will find endless stories showing you how stupid this, this prophet who claimed to be a prophet of God, speaking about the judgment day. We are in the time where people shooting missiles from under the, the sea. Uh, they shoot, uh, now they are in Israel, they have laser, you know, laser, laser. They don't even use missiles no more, which is nothing but electricity. They use electricity, convert it into laser, and they shoot the, the ray, the laser ray, at the target, and they destroy the target. Muhammad is still talking about arrows. I'm just trying to find you some reference more, so we can laugh at the prophecies of Muhammad. It says here, uh, I mean, there is actually in this uh, hadith about uh, about those things. Uh, 
let us see uh, the most popular one, the most time they use about the judgment day. Actually, you know what? Let me let me do this. Hold, give me a second. I will try to find it in different place. All right. Let us uh, let us talk about the 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 Muslims. They invade the uh, Constantinia. Read and love. Yes, Kadi, he have a video speaking about how many truthful prophecy Muhammad he said, and they come to be true. Muhammad was encouraging his men, and his 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 uh, his dream is to conquer the Christian world, to kill them all. The same for the Jews, etc., and the and the Persian. So look what he said. The hour would not come until the Roman would land uh, uh, at, I don't know where is the Amal, but this is supposedly, uh, you know, somewhere in Jordan. Uh, like maybe close to the, 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 uh, the Dead Sea. Uh, an army consisting of the best soldiers of the people of the earth at that time will come from Medina. Do you see where the army will come from? People, do you see where the army coming from? From Medina. Not from Turkey. From Medina. Do you see it? Let me zoom in. And this again proved that Muhammad is a fraud. Because here he will speak about how they conquer and how they occupy the Constantinia. So an army from Medina will go and attack the Roman, and they keep fighting, he described the fight, Shaitan, he screamed, blah, 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 stupidity, and then he says, and then they will open the Constantinia. Do you see it? Is that a false prophecy or not? Is that a false prophecy, people, or not? You tell me. I'm highlighting it to you in case you are blind. So an army from the best soldiers of the world, they will come and they will fight with their swords and they will open the Constantinia. Those are not the Turkish. Muhammad, we showed you, he says, stay away from the Turkish. Stay away from the Turkish. And the army who will invade Constantinia is going to be an army of 70,000. Go and read about the history, how many they involved in this war. This is took many, many years of siege of Constantinia before it failed. So what this guy is talking about? Do we need more clear? So when the Muslims they say that Muhammad, he predicted the the, the fail of the Constantinia, you tell him he mentioned that those are Arab. People of Medina are pure Arab. Those are people of Medina. They are not coming from Indonesia. They are not coming from Mongolia. They are not coming from China. Those are people of Medina. And they are 70,000. And Muhammad is stuck with number 70, obviously. Uh, and not only that, you know. After they enter Constantinia, Shaitan, he will fool them. 
after they enter and they they hang their sword in the olive trees which mean now they control the city shaitan would cry shaitan would shout okay uh, and he said to them and look how stupid the hadith he says the messiah is behind you he didn't say the false messiah by the way in the hadith the Muslim, they claim in the translation saying the Dajjal. But in Arabic, it doesn't say Dajjal. It says Al-Masih. Al-Masih, he took your place in your family. So the, 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 what he was saying here, the Dajjal, he took your place. So the Muslim, they will leave Constantinia again. And they will go back. So they will leave Constantinia and they will come to Damascus or to, towards Syria. And then when the Messiah will come down, the true Messiah. So when the Muslims, they attack Constantinia, the Turkish, did they leave because somebody shout for them, says, oh, the false Messiah, he took your town? Did they leave? They did not leave until now. Do we need to give more proofs? I mean, what, what more proof we can give? This guy is a false prophet. And there is something important here, by the way. It says here that when the false Messiah see the true Messiah, he would dissolve. The same as soul, dissolve in the water. Amazing. Look, the false Muhammad, he admit that when Satan, he see Jesus, Satan will dissolve like dissolve, like soul dissolve in water. Do you see the power of Jesus, my friend? Do you see the power of Jesus? When Satan see, see, just see. Just by seeing Jesus, Satan will dissolve. How come Muhammad, he received command from Satan, Shaitan? How come Muhammad, uh, Shaitan, jump in his shoulders? How come Muhammad, he says, uh, uh, Shaitan, he bothered me when I'm praying, and then I was able to uh, uh, capture him, and I, tie, I wanted to tie him to the column of the mosque, but then I, I remember what happened to Suleiman, so I let him go, obviously it's, it's, it's a lie. But when Satan sees Jesus, he will dissolve like salt. And this is the enemy of Christ witnessing for that. We don't care for his witnesses, by the way, but we take his witnessing against his people. We don't care for a liar to witness for Jesus. We do not need a liar to witness for Jesus. Now, do we have any Muslim when it come and tell us about uh, their prophet being a prophet? As you see, everything he said is, is a fraud. And I advise you to take reference. So later, if somebody says to you, how... Uh, how he predicted the Constantinia, yeah, you show him the reference. This is Sahih. They cannot deny it. This is not uh, something they can say, oh, this is weak, and you know, this is all over. Do we have any Muslim? My Skype is open, and notice that nobody, uh, nobody of them there. When I am not here, uh, I see the chat is full of Muslims. They are flourishing in the chat. The second I go live on air, the Muslims disappear. It's a miracle. It is literally a miracle. They are very good. Then us about, I, I feel guilty when I don't say inshallah. Yeah, tell me my hijab. You never say inshallah. And you know, uh, if we go and laugh about this inshallah, do you remember about the story about a prophet of God, he decided? to have sex with 99 wives? Who remember the story? <laughs> the story says that a prophet of Allah, and you know prophet of Allah, obviously is a prophet of Allah. I mean, come on, what you can say? Prophet, he is a prophet. What you can do about it? That's it. Muhammad, he says, a prophet of Allah. Obviously, he must be a prophet, brother. He must be a prophet. A prophet of Allah, he decided to have sex with all his wives. With all his wives. 
in one night, 99 wives. And then he forgot. And to say, inshallah. Let us find the hadith. So what happened? Because he forgot to say, inshallah, Now, Muhammad, by the way, when he repeats a story, he keep lying. So once he say 99 women, once he say 70 women, they went in the mood. Uh, so we will find here. And this is a story about uh, Suleiman. He said, and this is, as you see, Sahih, this is Bukhari. Muslim cannot say this is a, this is a lie. You know, this is fabrication. So the guy, he decided to have a lot of kids. He want to make them ISIS. They want to join Jihad. So he decided in every night to have 99 boys. And look, it looks like Suleiman, he can decide the gender. Yeah, all what he need to do, he comes first, as the prophet said. He comes first, the baby will be a boy. <laughs> Here it says, he said, tonight, I will sleep with 90 women, each of whom will bring forth a fighter. So this guy, his intention is good, Prophet Solomon, peace be upon him, to do jihad, to kill the Christian and, you know, everybody. At that time, there was no Christian, but, you know, he was preparing for it. So they will fight for Allah's cause. Uh, and his companion said to him, say Allah willing, inshallah. But he did not say that. What the heck? Why do you do that? So Solomon, he go inside the bedroom, he took off his panty, and boom, 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 all night. 99, 99 women. I mean, I, you know, you see, to be honest with you, I cannot, I cannot, I don't have the power. I mean, I can like maybe 97, eh, you know, 98 to be a maximum, maybe, to be honest with you. But 99? Ah, Allah have 99 names, so need 99, boom. MashaAllah. So who in the world want to believe such a garbage that there's a guy? He can have sex with 99 women in one night. I mean, even Christian Prince cannot do it, I assure you. 99 women, Muhammad, come on. Muhammad, you know, you can say nine, but man, say nine, say little nine, drop a zero. You know, 99 women, the guy, he stepped with them all. And he have orgasm with each one. Okay, you know what? Let me use my, use my calculator. At night, remember, let us say uh, 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 we, we, will give him, uh, we will give him 10 hours. 10 hours night. Hmm? So we go to the calculator. Okay, uh, we have 99 divide to 10. This guy, he have orgasm every, uh, almost every 10 minutes. He never stop. No drink. He don't go to the bathroom. He don't do anything. One after one. They are they are laying down and excuse my language. They are <clears throat> yeah. Ninety nine. The prophet he is he know what he's talking about. This is true. All prophet of Allah they have a lot of they have a very good penis. You know, I heard that even that uh, some prophet they used to break uh, they break walnut with their penis. They don't use a hammer. They put the like you know you put the uh, walnut in the table and psh, you know he hit it with the his penis and you know like this is why they used to call it in the in the in the at that time the penis he walnut yeah so the truth for Muhammad he is telling us now a true story that the guy he did have sex with ninety nine women but he made a mistake brother he made a mistake he forgot to say inshallah. Remember when I spoke to Mimi Hijab, the coward, I tell him, well, how come you don't say inshallah? Many of you says, what, 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 what a big deal? Why you, why you insist that he should say it? This is in Islam is a big deal. If you don't say inshallah, as you see. <laughs> so 99 women, he stepped with them and then he did not say inshallah. 
and then none of them she carry a child for him none of them zero except one later a deliver a half man do you know you see muslims are muhammad is a very savage filthy so half man is somebody with special needs half man which means allah he punished him for not saying inshallah he gave him instead of giving him healthy child he gave him not a good child Hmm. Any Muslim? Who can say that this is not a prophet of God now? It's very normal for any man to have sex with 90 women. 90, and, by, and by the way, Muhammad even cannot, cannot maintain the numbers. In different hadith, they are 70. In different hadith, they are 90. In different hadith, they are 99. Look, here it's 70. Look, look. Who is the narrator? Muhammad. Who is the one speaking? Muhammad. I will have intercourse with 70 wives. So what happened? It was 90 a second ago. I believe that Muhammad, he made it 70 later because people, they start saying to him, come on, man. 90. So Muhammad, he decided to lower the number. You know? So he said, oh, okay. Okay, they are 70, 70, forget about 90. <laughs> if we go to the Seer Al-Quran, we will find that the Quran mentioned 99 women. If we go here, even actually not women, the Quran named them as Na'ja, goat. Na'ja. Can you believe it? A book of God calling women Na'ja, which means goat? It doesn't say that, CP. <laughs> Where it says good, CP. Like, what the heck? <laughs> Line number seven, CP. <laughs> Verily, this is my brother. Has 99 Ewis. What, what the heck? True story. To be honest with you, I think marrying goat is better than marrying women. You will get milk all the time. <laughs> milk, cheese, you name it. I mean, everything is expensive these days. You know, you go to buy, uh, you know, especially here, you know, in America, everything has become expensive thanks to Allah and uh, Joe Biden, the idiot. So you marry 99 goat is better than marrying 90 women. I mean, whether you would have to spend money on them. Goat, they will make money. First, like, I, I have to cut the grass. If I have 99 goats, trust me, I will not have a single grass in my yard. I will be grass free. They will even cut the grass of all the neighbors. I will make money from them. Imagine, and this is a good idea, by the way. I'm going to open landscape company and I will marry 99 goats. And you know, just, uh, uh, I will send you 10 of my wives today to cut your grass. <laughs> they eat the grass of the neighbor and they make milk for me. It's a win-win, alhamdulillah. Inshallah, inshallah. Do we have any Muslim here? Hmm. Many Abdul? Where is the proud Muslims who can prove us wrong? You know, and who, whoa, what happened? Not a single Muslim. Take permission from your 99 goats and call me. Hmm? <clears throat> Any Abdul? Any Abdul? Hello? So, brother and sisters, they when they say the Quran and the Prophet is a lie, they are lying. All those things are true and they are proven to be scientifically correct. Scientifically. Like as an example, Prophet, he predicted everything and he knew the future and the past. 
Like, who is the one who knew what happened between the end and Prophet David and Prophet Solomon? What happened with them? Muhammad, he knows. The other people do not know. Uh, I'm going to take, you know, I, I, I want to buy a van, actually. So I can go, I don't want to sleep in the hotel. So just to save money, being cheap, you know. I want to buy a van and I want to go to the valley of the ant. The valley of the ant is mentioned in the Quran. Who want to go with me? Huh? There's a valley. Nobody lived there, brother. It's the state, by the way, they are member of the United Nations. Everybody there is an ant. Till when he came to the valley of the ant. What the heck is that? You don't tell me somebody wanna call me, just text me and I will I will call you. Uh I'm preparing some imam to talk to you from Chicago. Okay, when, when you get them ready, let me know. So tell when he come to the valley of the ants. One of the ants. Like look, look at the details. One. Just one. I mean, let us be honest here. The Quran is scientifically accurate. Because you see the ant, they have somebody, like in the White House, you have an ant, his name is Joe Biden, and he have an ant, Speaker of the House. Exactly the same. One of the ant, one of the ant, she's Speaker of the House. The rest, it's not, the, 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 she is the one in charge of media. So one of the ant, she said, she, what? The ant, she said, do the ant talk? Yes, they and talk, they communicate, but they don't talk. They are deaf. They are deaf. They are mute. They cannot hear you, and they cannot speak by making sound. Brother, one of the ants, she said, O oh, ants, enter your dwelling, lest Solomon is, and his host will crush you with his uh, perceiving, and they perceive not. Like, what the heck, the Alana system? And you know, the Muslim, by the way, uh, uh, they, made a, they made a miracle about this. They say, in Arabic here, brother, it says Namla. Actually, let me, let me search for the article so we can die laughing. Let me search in Prophet Google. <laughs> okay, hold on. I'm trying to find where they speak about the miracle of the end, and it's not here. Let us see the different one. Quran scientific miracles. The end. Let us see. The end. Uh. Brothers and sisters, I found a scientific medical article about the, uh, okay. Science support, look, this is the Muslim article now. Science support, Quran on talk of ants. Okay. Amazing words of Allah. Unlike the Bible, brother, being tempered and changed by a human hand, and, and then we find the Quran confirm it. <laughs> so let us go to the, the, the miracle. Do and talks communicate with each other? 
That's really what the Quran says. Until when they came, he came to the valley of the ants. And ants said, O oh, ants, enter your dwelling. Chapter 27, verse number 18. Why the ant is which the Quran mentioned heard the sound of Solomon. Why the ant of heard the sound of Solomon and his soldier? Biologists have long realized that ant can hear with their knee. <laughs> Biologist. Remember, who is the one who discovered that? Biologist. Hmm. <laughs> we go to Google, we will find right away. Ants are deaf. <laughs> Secondly, how in the world the ant and uh, uh, how she knew he's Suleiman, Suleiman. I mean, she said, the ant, she said, Solomon. <laughs> hey, brother, I can swallow everything. I can swallow the ant they talk. I, I can swallow the ant they knew English. I can swallow that the ant they knew Hebrew. But the ant, she knew that his name is Solomon. That is not something that I can, I can swallow. Sorry. <laughs> Imagine I'm walking in the park and then one of the ants, she said, Christian prince is coming. How the heck she knew I'm a Christian prince? I mean, she's an ant. Do you think this ant, she, like, she recognized him from the social media, like Facebook, something, you know, maybe? Like, you know, Solomon, he used to keep posting pictures. Like he is riding the horse like Putin. Uh, Putin looked like a chicken. Honestly, he looked like a chicken. He's like so small. He have no hair in his body. And he ride the horse and he want to show that he is strong, you know? And he's wearing a cross, by the way. I mean, this guy is a Christian. Yeah, right. So what the heck is that? So now suddenly the end they hear and they hear from their knee. And then so from their knee, they notice that this is Solomon. <laughs> Not only that, in different article they say that do you know that the Quran says the word ant is a female? And science discovered that the one who is in charge of alarm is a female, Abdul. In Arabic, any those insects we call them female, not because their gender. All insects we call them the same, Zubaba, Nahla, potatoes. What's wrong with you? This is the only word for we have for Arabic for, for the, the singular uh, ant. It's a female as a word, not as a gender. We did not look at their testicles. See, by the way, do ants have testicles? <laughs> um, okay. Do we have any Muslim want to say anything after all this madness and stupidity? This is this is miracle reading, and not only that. You know, the Quran says that Allah, he taught Solomon the language of the birds. He taught him what? The language of the birds. How the guy, he been taught the language of the birds, but he understand the language of the ants. Read carefully. And we taught Solomon the language of the birds. It's not me saying that. The Quran saying, we taught Solomon the language of the birds. Because later he will speak to a bird, his name is Al Hudhud. So the guy he been taught the language of the birds, how he can understand the language of the and how Suleiman he was able to hear the end. You see, we can let the end, they can hear him. And just let it go. How Suleiman was able to hear the ants. Let us say for the sake of whatever, you speak the language of the ants. How you can hear the ants. If Suleiman he can hear the ant, that means this guy he cannot live. Because you can imagine how many ants there is, and he can hear all of them. You will go mad. You will be doomed.
Imagine right now you hear like a billion ants speaking in your head. You know what? Let us imagine female ants having a conversation. Did you see what they posted in YouTube about new lipstick? Huh? Really? Where? Oh yeah, there's a new, and they are, they can make your lips very red. The other end, she said to her, <laughs> I do not need lipstick to make my lips red. All what I need, I will eat a dead cockroach. <laughs> this is a conversation between two female ants in the kingdom of Solomon. What the heck is that? If you go, go right now, there's a book, it's called The Legion of the Jews. The Legion of the Jews. You can download it for free from the internet because it's for free. Simply, it's an old book. Uh, uh, this is a guy, he's a Jew. He collected most of the legions, well known, the famous ones, and he put them in a book. And you will see one of them is the, the story you see here. This is from the Legion of the Jews. That's what a man he was, you know, he saw an ant, he put it in his hand, she speak to him, he speak to her, he made a conversation. So a man, he spoke to a, a sparrow. Uh, I mean, all tons of those, those are just silly stories, you know, for kids. The Jews, they tell them for their kids. Muhammad, he make it Quran. Never tell Muhammad a story. They tell him about uh, Zulqarnayn, Alexander the Great, he put him in the Quran. They tell him about the seven sleepers, he put it in the Quran. Anything you tell him, he will put it in the Quran.